Good morning. My name is Dan Simpkins. I'm CEO of Hillcrest Laboratories, and we are here at CES 2012 to talk about Hillcrest line of motion technology products. I want to start um, really taking you back a year to CES 2011. Um, in 2011, we showed a product, a very important product for us, the Kylo browser, which represented um, to the industry how one could surf the web essentially control a web experience um, on the television. That's a lot of what Hillcrest has been about over the last five to seven years, is how do we bring a natural motion and a dynamic rich experience to the digital living room. Um, to this year at CES, um, we're talking about three major product categories. The Hillcrest Motion Engine, which won a CES Innovations Award, which is our software product that allows companies to build motion-enabled um, really motion-enabled remote controls um, and other, um, other technical products that involve motion. We're going to be talking about our modules, um, which are components that make it easy for our customers to incorporate motion when they don't have um, quite as much expertise in motion um, technology design. And we're also talking about our scoop. Um, the Scoop Remote Control, which is another CES Innovations Award winner. The Scoop is our newest generation of white label or reference remote controls. This uh, technology today includes a six-axis sensing system that includes a three-axis accelerometer, a three-axis gyroscope, and uses the latest generation of our motion engine. It runs on two AA batteries um, and has very sophisticated power management, allows it to achieve a very long life in normal, uh, normal operation. Um, over the course of the last year, we have been able to bring motion into the marketplace um, with a number of key customers. At CES 2000, at CES 2011, LG announced the first smart TVs that were based on natural motion, that were based on Hillcrest's um, free space technology um, implemented using the motion engine software. And you can see here that I'm actually controlling uh, this LG TV with a pointing remote. That's actually a very important um, innovation in the industry, and I think it's something that we'll see more of. But here I brought up a simple um, matching game. It's a Sudoku game. And I can simply go in um, and pick and attempt to um, find a, a match here. I'm not particularly good at Sudoku on the fly, but you get the idea. Um, the next product I'd like to talk about, and I think um, it also represents a different uh, level of uh, implementation, a different kind of implementation, is a product that we announced in the fall, a product with uh, Roku. And um, again, what we're going to do is uh, use the magic motion. Um, I'll actually go ahead and uh, change my input. You see how simple that is. And I've now pulled up really the world's first implementation of Angry Birds um, on television. Now, we're all familiar with Angry Birds, but we normally play Angry Birds on our smartphones or on our tablets. And we can literally go up to the screen, and we can pull the bird back, and we can let it go, and we can enjoy the game. But how would we do that from the couch. Well, one of Hillcrest's innovations is to use a natural motion remote control, a device that includes the free space motion engine, to control the game from a distance. And so, um, in conjunction with Roku um, and another one of our remote control partners, UEI, we have developed um, a really nice implementation that shows how the motion experience can be extended um, the pointing experience essentially can be extended uh, to the couch in the digital living room. The next thing we would like to show is how we took this same technology, the same concept, and included it in um, an Android tablet. So today, of course, we're seeing a large proliferation of Android. Um, this particular tablet is a gingerbread implementation, um, but we have a number of applications that show really the value or the power of bringing a motion to that product. Most uh, tablets, obviously, are intended to be used personally, um, really sitting in our laps where we can touch them. But again, what if I'm actually using a tablet as a set-top box? And here, I have a case where I've attached a scoop to this tablet. Um, we have ported our motion engine to the Android um, platform. And now, I have the ability to really, with very little effort, um, implement 
a, uh, a game, one of the, uh, obviously a very popular game. Um, and so I, I can go in and play Fruit Ninja and uh, play it from my couch. So we are seeing the use of a scoop as essentially the extension of the pointer, the extension of the finger um, on the TV. We've also brought at CES a brand new set of technologies, an important set of, of uh, technologies. And um, one of the key things that we have um, we've done is added the capability uh, to bring gestures um, onto the free space platform, onto the motion engine platform. I want to just show you a very simple one. Clearly, I can swipe you know, up, down, or left, or right. So you can do things like swipe your picture from one uh, screen to the next. And what you're seeing here is just a, an application that's a simple application that demonstrates the gesture system working. I can actually create my own custom uh, gestures. And so I want to create a sign-in that enables me to customize my experience, my own kind of little uh, graphical pin, essentially. And uh, so I'm using my initials, DS. Um, we'll stop that learning. And now um, we'll go ahead and we'll sign in. And there we've actually detected um, that gesture. So what I've shown you today is a collection of motion technology products that start with our motion engine that give our customers the most flexibility to implement a, uh, own, their own proprietary and custom uh, products modules that give you a little less flexibility but faster time to market and, um, and more, uh, more precision and, and more control. Um, and then the Scoop, our um, newest white label uh, reference product that obviously is fastest time to market and where we've solved a lot of the tough uh, heavy lifting, a lot of the tough technical problems and makes it really easy for our customers to bring a motion controller to their platform. So thank you very much.